Welcome to our home. So <clears throat> I have two stories and it's Halloween time and it's also the day after Halloween, November 1st, is, is called the Day of the Dead. And um, I mean, personally, we don't actually celebrate that holiday that much. We more honor the, our ancestors throughout the year, but there's such a strong um, Spanish and Mexican culture where we live, and it is called... Oh, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, yeah. 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 So we wanted to, um, to honor that, that holiday and that, that celebration, and just to, to honor how our ancestors and, and those who have passed on before are, are still helping us and are still present in our, in our lives in, in very, very, very beautiful ways. So the first story is about a woman named Mrs. Woods. Lois. Lois Woods, but we called her Mrs. Mrs. Woods. And she wasn't an ancestor. She was a neighbor, actually. And when we were 29, I was pregnant we were pregnant with our first child, and we were trying to find a place to live. And we came to look at this one rental house, and we looked at it, and we're like, oh, it's, I don't know. It, it was kind of falling, there was a lot falling, falling apart about it. And we decided to leave, and as we were getting in the car, Mrs. Wood showed up, and she said, oh, I know, that, that house isn't very much, but but you should see the piece of land. And she, she pointed, she said, that is, that is so beautiful. You could walk on that every day and, and pretend that was your, that was your home. It's, it's so special. So we did. It was just extraordinary, beautiful, beautiful piece of land. And, um, yeah, so we loved it so much. We tried to we tried to buy it, and the owner kept saying, "No, no, no, no! It's a very valuable piece of land." And 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 he but kept. It was actually even just just because we walked on the land that we decided to rent the old house. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was the reason. And he he kept. He said, "Well, if you want to buy it, it's this X amount of money, which was extraordinary. I mean, just huge." So out of the out of the question. So we we never we never could buy it. And Mrs. Woods was always upset because she said, You that piece of land should belong to you. Um she always wanted us to be able to buy it. Um in order to get to that piece of land, we had to, to cross on the trail just a little bit of of their property. And one day, because since I walked I walked there every day, one day I was walking and I saw Mrs. Woods, but it wasn't Mrs. Woods in her physical body. It was, it was Mrs. Woods in her, in her light body. I've never seen anything like that ever in my life. But it seemed at the time it seemed ordinary, and she came to me and she said, "You're going to be able to buy that piece of land, and it will bless you very much. Just be patient." And then, honestly, she just disappeared. And I came home and told Barry, and he's like, wow, you know. Um, I mean, we do. We live on this piece of land that she was, that she was talking about. And, and it, took, it took some patience, but we were able to buy it. But even, oh, I found out that Mrs. Woods had died probably an hour before that experience she had been hit by a car and died right away and i didn't i obviously didn't know when she appeared to me in her light or ghost like body so that's one story the other story is about my father and this is a story about ancestors so my father it was an engineer very it was all about math and science and building. He was a carpenter too. 
And he didn't believe in mystical experiences at all. You know, my mother would sometimes mention things, and he'd like, no, no, that that didn't happen. That's just your imagination. So um, my mother told me that one morning, or my father told my mother that one morning he woke up and he saw both of his parents at the foot of their bed. And they, they had died a long time ago. And they were, they had their arms open and they were welcoming him. He just looked at them for, oh, a sh- it was a short time, but it was an amazing experience for him. And as soon as my mother woke up, he told her about it. He said, my mom and dad were there and they were wel- welcoming me somewhere. They were welcoming me. And she, she thought, oh, that was beautiful experience. My father died the next day. And so we feel his, his parents came early to prepare him and welcome him. I think both those stories are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. How, how, our, how our ancestors, I mean, they're gone. The physical body is gone, but their, their ability to help and, and bring light is still so present. So it's a, it's a beautiful time, this, this Day of the Dead, to just give thanks for these, for these people that, that, have, that have blessed your lives. All right. Yeah. Wow. So um, what I would really love all of us to do, those of you who are watching, you know, just to take a moment, close your eyes, and, and just open to, really, for us, it's, our, it's a truth, because we, we're really convinced that those who've passed on before us, who've loved us, are still here, and they're even more present than they could be when they had their physical bodies. And so if you can just even imagine those who loved you, who passed on, who are right now blessing you, just really blessing you. And maybe you had, you know, not the easiest relationship with someone, like one of your parents maybe, but just trust me right now. This person understands who you are and they get you and they love you and they're just blessing you. Okay, all right. I, so I wrote a song about, um, well, really, it's, it's all those who love us and are here, are here with us. I feel all alone With no one to help me Like a child without a home With no comfort near me I just couldn't hear you You seemed so far away So numb I couldn't feel you I didn't know you're here to stay 
that you're here all the time. with me all the time you're here all the time here with me all the time you're here all the time Here with me always You're here all the time You're here with me always You're here all the time with me all the time What a beautiful thing to open to the love of our ancestors. To the love of those who've passed before us. Some of whom are really shining lights, having done a lot of work in this life. But all, all of whom dearly love us, dearly love us. If we can just open, so much love is there for us. Can't see them. They're not wearing their physical bodies. We can't always have the experience like Joyce had of seeing a being in the light body, but we have to trust that they're there. All right. Mm, mm. Keep opening, keep thanking, and keep feeling all the love around you. Uh, so we we hope that this this time, the November first, the the Day of the Dead, is is a meaningful day for you. There's millions of people around the world that you know. It's a very big, big celebration but yeah. perhaps you can do it in your own your your own small way and yeah, just give thanks for the gifts that that keep coming so important to know that you're loved that you're really loved mm -hmm. and the love the love never goes away yeah <laughs> <laughs>